Hey lovies, welcome back to my channel, Simplicity A. Marie. It's your girl A. Marie. And before we start this video, make sure you guys hit like, share. If you have any comments or anything to add to today's video, make sure you comment. And today's video, we are doing some fully loaded nachos. So I have a pan on medium heat, excuse me, with a little bit of olive oil. And I'm going to go to my freezer and I'm going to grab I'm going to grab some chopped white onions guys it's Tuesday right if I can get it open right a little bit of chopped white onions and I'm going to add some of my three pepper onions blend. So add a little bit left in there. And I'm just going to mix this up with that olive oil until everything gets cooked nice. And you guys know that I'm going to be using turkey because I don't eat beef. So um, I'm going to have some um, turkey. And I'm just going to start building up these nachos. And it's really easy. When I tell you my best friend, she loves my nachos. My cousin loves my fully loaded nachos. And it's so crazy because it's not hamburger, it's turkey. And you, again, you can't tell the difference. And I'm going to be doing something a little different that I don't normally do. But, you know, we're trying new things. But happy Tuesday, guys. Um, It's, a, it's about 6 o'clock here, my time. And I um, just wanted to know how you guys' day was today. Everything going well? Again, it's Tuesday. I feel like I have such a long, we all have such a long week ahead of us. I don't know, it's crazy. Like, can the weekend get here already? Isn't that crazy? I know, this is a no judging zone, guys. No judging zone. But um, I had a really good weekend. How was you guys this weekend? I definitely spent so much needed time with my mom, for sure. My mom, my family, my boys. It was really nice. It was really, really nice. But um, I don't know, guys. I just wanted to let you guys know that, you know, I'm about this cooking life. I love cooking. And I just want to do different, you know, different recipes. Things that's out of your ordinary. You know what I mean? So... Make sure you guys leave a comment below of, you know, what you guys would like me to make or what you guys would, you know, prefer. I am down to any suggestions. <laughs> I'm not picky. I know I was telling my best friend I have another um, recipe that I'm going to be doing. Um, I had made it for my kids a few weeks ago and they loved it. So be sure to look out for that next video. So what I'm doing is I'm just getting that olive oil, then peppers, and then onions together, you know, translucent. Get them loose, you know, if they're frozen, so, you know. Let me hear some sizzle. Just turned up my heat a little bit. I'm just going to show y'all what it looks like so far. And we're going to have... Um, some chips and I already got my cheese I don't know I'm different I like to um, prep that's the word I like to prep so I already done shredded my cheese um, you know got my jars out of what sauces I'm going to use in today's video all that good jazz and it's definitely doing what I want it to do we've been having this on the burner or the eye, sorry. We're having it on the eye for about four minutes. We don't want anything to burn. We just want all them flavors to get loose. And all that good jazz. Mind you guys, I've never did fully loaded nachos with like a bunch of vegetables. But I'm so for vegetables. I feel like vegetables, you should have it every day. Especially all this stuff that's going on. Everybody's getting sick. The flu, this corona. There's just too much going on. And me, I work um, at a school. So, I work with kids. So, everybody ain't um, as, 
you know, sanitary and clean like your kids. So definitely got to take precautions. Making sure, you know, I got me a little bottle of hand sanitizer I have on me at all times. I don't be playing, y'all. Oh, it smells so good. You can smell them onions and them peppers and that olive oil. So now I got me some ground turkey and I'm just going to put all these over to the side. Right. In my skillet. And I'm going to add in my ground turkey. Too bad. And I'm going to wait until it gets all cooked and you don't see no more pink. And we're going to clean up a little bit. it smells so good when I tell you okay lovey so this is the next process all I did is I took my ground turkey I'm sorry let's go back I added some chopped white onion some cut up green yellow red bell peppers and onions and a skillet of olive oil then I added the turkey cooked that until it was no longer pink and then I took a pack of taco seasoning I added that in Start all that up together, and this is what we have. I don't know if you guys can get a good look at that. So now, now that our meat is fully cooked, now we get to start loading up our nachos. So, I have a baking sheet here that I put some aluminum foil on. Did a little bit of butter so everything ain't sticking. And the chips that I'm using is the Tostitos Roasted Red Pepper. So I'm gonna pop these open. And I'm gonna do a light layer for the first layer. I know guys, this is so different because when I had made my taco dip for New Year's Eve for my my um cousin and my aunt and everybody, I used these chips. I don't know, it's something different than just the normal white tortilla chips. So I'm just gonna do a thin layer for the first layer like that and guys you know chips is good when you don't even need no dip you can eat them like potato chips yeah some of that and i'm going to take a little bit of my mixture while it's still hot and i'm just going to put it over the chips i'm not going to do a lot because i still have another layer to go but I don't want to pick up a chip and there's nothing on it. It's just bare. Like, I don't, I don't want that. So I'm just going to add a little bit of the mixture on my chips. Yeah, y'all, I got these from Walmart too. <laughs> and y'all, the, the, um, the mixture is so good. It's like seasoned really good from that taco seasoning and then them onions and them peppers. They let out their flavors with that olive oil. You guys talking about yum. What all do you put on your nachos, guys? What all do you do? Do you do vegetables? Do you do refried beans, black beans? I'm not too much of a bean person for some reason. I'm just not. If it's not green or baked, I ain't going nine times out of ten. So... Okay, we got as much as chips as we can get coated for our first layer as we can. Then I'm going to come over to my refrigerator. Remember I told you guys that I had um, did me a block of cheese? It was that baby. And I'm just going to sprinkle some of that on top of there. I can't wait till you guys see this finishing product. What is nachos without cheese? I'll wait. <laughs> Got some of that on there. 
Okay, lovies, this is what we have before we pop it in the oven. We got some shredded cheese, some pickled jalapenos, we got our meat, and we're just going to pop this in the oven on 425. I preheated my oven to 425 just until that cheese melts, and then we're going to add more toppings. Okay, lovies, I just took my nachos out of the oven. We got our peppers, our jalapenos, we got our meat, we added some shredded cheese. Now we're going to add some toppings. So I just got me some more cheese. I don't know. You can't never go wrong with cheese. And we're just going to drizzle that over that presentation. When I tell you presentation. So we got a little of this nacho cheese. I just popped in the microwave for like 10, 15 seconds. And we also have some taco sauce that we're just going to drizzle right over the top. You know that good old Ortega. And I love these nachos, guys, because they're already flavored. Again, so it's going to be tons of flavor than just your, you know, your regular white um, white corn tortilla chips. There's nothing wrong with this. I normally eat mine, but I'm like, I'm going to switch it up today. So we got our Ortega sauce. Um, we need some more green. Make it pop. Again, this is just some, um, some spinach leaves that I chopped up real nice. We just got some of those spinach leaves that we chopped up really nice vegetables people vegetables my son loves the Baja sauce the Taco Bell little spice just a little drizzle yummy 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 there you have it lovies my fully loaded nachos so we got our Tortilla chips, which was our red pepper blend. We had our chopped onion, our um, diced red and green yellow bell pepper. We did our um, shredded Kobe Jack cheese. Pop that in the oven, let all that cheese melt. Again, we used turkey meat because you know I don't do beef. And the toppings I added, I added some nacho cheese, some taco sauce, some chopped up um, spinach leaves for color. And um, we can't forget the pickle jalapeno. Fully loaded nachos. Mm. How they taste them, man? Mm. Isaac, what is wrong with you? Yes, guys, make sure you guys tune in. New video. New Simplicity video. A. Marie. <laughs> And this, ladies and gentlemen, is the finished product of our fully loaded nachos. If you guys like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, and I'll catch you next video.